Hi, this is Ron from Last Little Video. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do instant replay in OBS. So you can do this. Hi, this is Ron from Last Little Video. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do instant replay in OBS. So you can do this. I would also be showing you how to set up the move transition as well as game instant replay as well. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get to it. Okay, here we are in the install page and the version that I'm installing is 2.5. So now we'll go ahead and click on the download button. And we'll go ahead and select Move Transition Windows Installer. If you have a Mac or Linux, you can download those. But I'll go ahead and download the Windows version. Okay, now that it's on my machine, I'll go ahead and double click. This will come up on Windows. On Windows, you can click here and run anyway and it's going to come up to install. It'll ask you where you want to install for your OBS. You just want to make sure that that path is correct and hit next and install and click finish. Here we are in OBS. Go into settings. Go into output. Here you'll see output mode. Make sure this is set to advanced. If you see simple you won't see the buffer. We're going to select Replay Buffer and turn it on. We're going to set our maximum replay time to 10 seconds or however long you want it to be set to. Click OK. Let's go into Recording. Make sure your recording path is set to where you want your buffer to go. And then we change your recording format to MP4. And select the proper encoder for your machine. In this case, I'll select NVIDIA. Now we go down to bitrate. I'll change it to 60,000. And we can set our preset to high quality or maximum quality. Please note that this all depends on what kind of machine you're running. Now we don't need this visual tuning here. So I'll unclick it. Now let's go into audio. Make sure your listening device is set up properly. This, in my case, it's Yeti stereo microphone. Now I'll go into video and set my base canvas and output resolution. In this case, I'll set it to 1920 by 1080. I'll go ahead and set my frame rate to 30. You can go to 60 if you'd like. Let's move over to advanced. Make sure that your replay buffer frame rate prefix is set to replay. Now let's make sure automatically start replay buffer when streaming is checked. Now that our settings are all set up, let's go ahead and hit apply and OK. Now let's go ahead and start our replay buffer. Okay, so let's go ahead and start replay buffer. Give it around 10 seconds. And once we're done, we'll go ahead and hit stop. Okay, so now I wanna click on the plus sign and create a new scene. We'll just call this replay. Hit okay. Hit this plus sign down here and go to media source. And we'll name this replay. Now we'll look for our media. And there's our replay. Open. We click OK. And there you have it. I want to do something a little bit different today and show how we can do a game replay. But before I show you that, we need to go ahead and take care of one more step. We need to go into Tools, Scripts, and add our instant replay Lua. And go to our mini source and click on our replay. And then close. Okay, so I went ahead and added a new source. It's called Window Capture. And in this screen, you can see Black Desert is playing live. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. Now I'll go ahead and create hotkeys for the start and stop replay buffer. Go into settings. As you can see here, my start and stop replays are set to F1. Scroll down, replay buffer, save replay key is set as well, F2. Hit OK. Now let's try one of our hotkeys. Hit F1. 
the replay buffer button is highlighted. I'll bring up my path, hit F2 to stop the replay. Now if you pull up the path where your replays are stored, you'll notice the replay appears. Okay, now I'm going to show you a more practical use of the instant replay in OBS other than seeing my silly face. As you can see here, I've created a couple of scenes, but before I go into that, I want to show you a new overlay that I created. So I'm going to show you a new source that I created by clicking the plus sign and adding a media source, which I've already done, which is called replay overlay. Click OK, and there is a replay overlay that's running in the background. And I'll also add an overlay image by hitting the plus sign and going to image. Once again, I've already added this, so I just click on image. Great, so now we have our overlay image and our replay overlay and my live camera. So are you all confused yet? Of course not, you just watched my video. But seriously, let's go back into scenes and I'll show you how this is done. So you're doing a live stream and you're streaming a game with commentary. In OBS, when you create scenes, you can control your shots. And most importantly, you replay overlay. So let's say I'm streaming a game live and I wanted to show a replay of a particular move in real time. I could just switch between scenes and show my replay. Now let's go into move scene transition to go ahead and finish up this tutorial. So now we have the properties for move window that just pops up. We could just scroll down and control how our windows appear on the screen. The settings we want to take a look at are the appearance items, how we want our windows to appear. So let's go ahead and select ease in and ease out and how we want it to pop up on our screen. We'll do center left. Now that this is all set up, we can actually preview our transition. As you can see, it's going left to right. And then we just go ahead and click OK. Now when we go back to scenes, you can see how there's a nice flow to our screens here with the move transition. This concludes our tutorial for today. Please don't forget to leave any comments or concerns and I'll see you in the next video.